70 degrees with uh, sun all day long, a couple of days of that. Newark in at 71, Bridgeport 67. The normal should be in the upper 50s, so we're above the norm, slightly below the norm for the month so far. 69 degrees, 64 degrees up in Montgomery. That is the storyline, but the humidity is 7%. Give me a break. I don't think the desert is doing that. 7% with bone dry. Humidity will be on the climb slowly in the next 48 hours. Northwesterly winds are in. Uh, the temperature tonight, probably early morning hours, Wednesday will be in the upper 40s, but then it responds to the angle of the sun, and the April sun will do its thing at 66 degrees. Now, the map, again, stuck. We'll be in southwesterly flow. We're on the right side of the action. Storms will develop in the Missouri Valley. You can see right here, and that will be a deal for them uh, for the next 48 hours, not us. The frontal system will not advance. We'll stay on the right side of the action. Then you see the moisture begin to creep and crawl, but it's generally moving from the south to the north progression, generally very slow from the west to the east because of the blocking action. Now, with that going on, the only hope here is that the winds die down so the pollen will, again, not flow so quickly through the air, maple and juniper, but again, we get up high as the pollen picks up and the wind picks up and that's at the end of the week. This is the Yankee game for tonight. We play the Orioles 630, 65 degrees in the seventh inning. Curveball, not from Mother Nature, by me. 63 degrees, 50 degrees in the overnight period, 38 degrees in the suburbs. Straight ahead now to what will be a seven-day forecast that doesn't look that shabby as we take a look at it. You can see again as we head into the weekend, a great-looking Wednesday. The Mets come home on Thursday. They'll play their game. Friday, more clouds around. There could be a shower or two Saturday and Sunday, but let's enjoy the next three days looking very, very nice.